de latino.tv .tv, .tv. Otro episodio, esta vez otro atleta, otro país La expansión de nuestro querido deporte, culturismo y fitness Con Kit Sanderson, MD Latino.tv Enseguida tenemos... Y en esta semana tenemos Kaden Riley y Britney Riley, los promotores del Super Mexico Show. How are you, Kaden? I know we're going to do this interview in English. We have some subtitles on the ground, as you can see there running across the screen. Brittany, good afternoon. How are you feeling? I know you guys are out in California, right? Yes, yes we are. Okay. Yeah, we live in Los Angeles, and uh, so uh, it's uh, beautiful weather right now, so it's great. Well, we're going to get started talking about the Mexico Super Show because I know there's a lot of, as they see, chismes and rumors on social media. People, they know the show is going to happen, but they don't know really too much about the show. So we're going to let you just say the who, what, why, where, when, cuánto, you know, how much. Um, I know you wanted to start off on the right foot by giving a big shout out to the Prez, Jim Mannion. Yes, yes. Uh, we want to definitely say thank you to Jim Mannion, president of the IFBB Pro League. Um, just to say, you know, that you know he's given us an opportunity to promote shows internationally. We're very to, excited. Yeah, to be able to uh, give the international athletes an opportunity uh, to get their pro cards um, in their home country, um, and then from there be able to qualify for the top shows in our industry: the Olympia, the Arnold Classic. Um, so. You know, it's it's just an op it's an awesome opportunity, and I, we're very thankful to uh, the pro league and to Jim Mannion. And what I'm thinking with the expansion, I was looking at that calendar. It's a pretty hefty calendar for the first year, <laughs> but I think what's going to happen with some of these pro am shows internationally is that they're going to start to become slowly on to a new tradition, a new type of Arnold. It won't be the Arnold, but it'll be its own thing. But the idea is that we create more and more high caliber tier one shows. But internationally, like you said, giving those athletes in those regions at times maybe a home court advantage, we would want to say, or maybe that's not the correct terminology, but them a chance to, you know, still compete in the United States, but also be able to compete in their home turf. Exactly. Yeah, you know, we want to we want to make sure that the um, uh, competitors from Latin America, um, from Mexico, from the surrounding countries are able, like you said, to be able to compete against their peers. Um, yeah, I mean, there's going to be people from the United States, from other countries coming to the Mexico Super Show. But we want uh, the, the competitors from Mexico to feel like, hey, you know what? I'm going against the best of the best from our country. And, uh, you know, I, I, I'm going to take that pro card. And we want to really give them that pride of, hey, you know what? I'm the best in my country. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. They, don't have to they won't have to travel far. You know, because we'll have it right there in Mexico, and it'll, it'll just be great. We're really excited to give them direct access to, you know, become a pro right there in Mexico. And this is in the city of Guadalajara, June 23rd and 24th, correct? Uh, it's June 22nd and 23rd. 22nd and 23rd. Yep, yeah, uh, 2018, um, and it's going to be in Guadalajara. Like you said, it's going to be at the uh, Teatro uh, Galerias. Teatro and, Galerias, okay, perfect. I know exactly where that is. Beautiful okay. venue, huge, and um, we're excited about it. Cool. What gave you the inspiration to say, hey, I want to do the Mexico Super Show? I know you guys are from L.A., but do you have a lot of contact with Mexico or Mexican bodybuilding? Or Yeah, you know what? You know, it, it's it's always, uh, you know, first of all, bodybuilding has always been a love of mine. Um, but then, you know, um, my family is from um, Latin America. Um, I might not be able to, you know, speak the language too well, but uh, you know, most of my family's from Latin America, and uh, so you know, I always thought, hey, you know, what? there's an opportunity to be able to bring um, the IFBB Pro League bodybuilding to um, Latin America, and I was like, hey, sign me up. I want to be the first one to get to, yeah. to to do it in Mexico. We love Mexico. We love visiting Mexico. Yeah. It's beautiful. We always try to come down, a, you know, a couple times. Um, what every other year we're down, and yeah. so as soon as we had this opportunity to go international, we we chose Mexico. All right, so there's not going to be like shots of tequila at the stands, right? It's going to be shots of proteins and pre workouts. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> well, that's we'll after that's an after time. party. Okay, yeah. All right, cool. Now, um, 
price. Let's talk a little bit about pricing. Um, obviously, the inscriptions for the MPC, uh, this is going to be open to all cities and all leagues and federations, obviously. But what is the inscription rate? Yeah, um, it's going to be $150 um, for all of the pro qualifying divisions. Um, we do have a novice class, um, and that is going to be you know $100 for the novice classes. Um, but all of the pro qualifying divisions will be $150. Okay, Across so just the like a NPC Nationals type of tariff, something similar. Okay. Yep, exactly. So standard tariff, all right. And that doesn't sound too bad. And then uh, for the pro divisions, obviously uh, you've got men's physique. And the winner of that division will get an invitation to the Mr. Olympia, correct? Yeah, you know what? Um, since the 2018 um, qualification series will be implemented, um, the winner of our show um, will obviously get the prize money. Um, and, and then also it will get, uh, eight points, um, towards their qualifications, um, towards the Olympia. That's great. Okay. And then, uh, these will be NPC IFBB Pro League judges. Yes. So all the judges will be from, and will be certified and from the Pro League. Um, we are going to bring some judges from, um, uh, a special guests from the Pro League and then, um, uh, certified judges from Mexico. Absolutely. So kind of gearing up for 2018, but 2018 in moving forward. Correct. <clears throat> exactly. Okay. All right. Then uh, these these pro cards are going to be awarded. Are these pro cards for the NPC part going to be awarded just to the absolute overalls in each category? Yeah. So the o, um, the winners of each division will compete against each other in the overall. Okay. And the overall champion from the division will be getting their pro card. Okay, okay yeah. Kate, and can you tell us what uh, divisions will be participating in the NPC part of your show? Uh, the divisions are gonna be bodybuilding, classic physique, men's physique, figure, bikini, and women's physique. Okay, so the standard, no wellness? No, no wellness, no wellness. We like wellness. Jim Manning uh, has said that he's uh, he's open to it, um, but you know that no, no wellness this year. No wellness this year. It's one of those things that's in the work. There's already so many categories right now, so it's it's uh it's one of the things that that will be in the works, you know, moving forward after 2018. And it's exciting. I think it's it's very exciting, especially with this new classic bodybuilding category that's that's on fire right now worldwide. Yes, you know, it's it, it's very uh, it's a uh, very um, Amazing to see the bodybuilding industry grow at the rate it's been growing. Um, they've been doing an amazing job being able to give um, all types of athletes, all types of body types, um, the ability to compete um, and get recognized for their hard work. Yeah. Okay. Why did you guys choose the city of Guadalajara? Uh, you know, we wanted something that was centrally located. And we thought that uh, Guadalajara was, was that middle point. Um, um, to where it would be easy access for everyone to be able to get to. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's a beautiful city. Um, I've been yes, there before, it and it's, 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 it was definitely that, um, you know, I, I like that city, and let's, let's, let's do it there. Yeah, definitely. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's a clean city. It's definitely uh, a safer city. Uh, it's for, it's for, tourism friendly, definitely. Uh, and yep. it's a major city. People understand it's between, uh, between 8 million and 10 million people now. It's a major yeah. city. Sports nutrition is, there are a lot of companies in the fitness industry that are located in Guadalajara. Uh, so it's been groomed. It, it, it's, the timing is right. Mm -hmm. uh, we could say it's about time that there's a major show in Guadalajara. And Caden, yeah. you just had that ambition to go ahead and say, hey, I'm going to have cojones and go for it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. All right. Um, what, what do you think is going to be the potential turnout on the NPC side what have you been hearing from like the coaches and the athletes what kind of feedback have you gotten since you did your original press releases on Instagram and social media well you know what uh, it, it's been amazing the turnout um, the amount of excitement that we've been getting from the athletes um, we have a um, part on our website where people can go and they can subscribe to our newsletter to get any updates on what's going on with the event, what's going on with bodybuilding in Mexico. Um, we'll be updating that frequently. It, we'll be sending emails out and we've been getting a ton of subscribers 
um, and, 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 and already signups. Um, so I'm excited from the, uh, you know, I've been talking to um, a few of the, uh, the coaches in the country and um, they're excited. They're ready for um, their athletes to come and compete. And, um, you know, they're, 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 they're saving some of their best athletes for this show. So um, it's going to be a good turnout. It's going to be um, high quality turnout. And uh, so the champions that are going to come from the Mexico Super Show, um, I, I really believe are going to make waves in the industry and in the uh, sport of bodybuilding and fitness. And um, it's going to be an amazing representation of Latin America in the bodybuilding world. Yeah, a few people realize still how big bodybuilding is as a sport in Mexico. But um, what I've seen in the last five years, and you know, my publication has been a part of that growth, but the tenacity of the local promoters. Um, you know, I've watched the Mr. Mexico f go from 600 to 800 to 1,000 to 1,200 to 1,500 competitors this year. Yeah. I mean... It was like the never-ending store then. The event never ended. So the promoters are good. The, 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 definitely, the market is right for bodybuilding. Uh, certainly the media has been involved with bodybuilding. There have been publications prior to MD Latino in the market. Um, and there, it's a gym atmosphere. It's a macho atmosphere. You know, people like to be very macho in Mexico. I, everybody knows that. And we've had, you know, not a lot of big names coming out of... Uh, uh, Mexico now, you know, Natalia uh, Sotelo, she took a uh, New York Pro show in women's figure. She was Olympian. Sandra Grajales, she's tearing it up right now. She's not an Olympian. Ali Fernandez, women's bikini, that little chiquita girl out of uh, Merida. She went to the Olympia for a second year. So, you know, Charro Lomeli, he's not an Olympian yet, but a lot of people know him. He constantly competes. Benjamin um, Parra and uh, Victor Rea, they just competed in the San Marino Pro Show and uh, for Rigno Legacy. So, you know, these guys are competing. They're, they're getting their feet wet in the IFBB Pro League. And I just think that, you know, the major players right now in uh, Latin American bodybuilding are definitely Mexico and Brazil and uh, the Dominican Republic. And I think the other countries are following now. They're, they're, they're seeing that. So I think this is very healthy for the economy of, of bodybuilding and fitness. Uh, this show for, for Mexican bodybuilding in the local economy. I think that the local protein and other fitness related concepts, those types of sponsors are really going to have a solid opportunity now to really market themselves to a much bigger concept as far as uh, a league to promote with. The, the brands will have a much better uh, opportunity to, to market themselves. So, um, yeah, yeah I, I agree. I, I, think that, uh, I think that this show is definitely going to be able to help the um, the like, like you said, the economy down there uh, in the sports nutrition side, uh, we definitely want to um, give the brands an opportunity to really market themselves to the athletes down there. And then we also want the athletes to be able to really get really reconnected to the brands down there as well. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, this is going to be very exciting, Caden. Are there any uh, special messages you want to send to, you know, the, the public, any of your colleagues or associates or anybody out there do you any have any shout outs uh so i want to give a shout out to uh um obviously the president jim mannion uh, but then also to robin chang um he's been a mentor to me he is the promoter of the uh, mr olympia weekend and um you know he like i said he's been a mentor to me and he continues to mentor me and and you know i can't say thank you enough to him and then obviously the olympia team um you know they they they're always yeah they they that you know, they've always been with me. I, if most people don't know, I also work um, for the Olympia. Um, I'm on the production side. I run all the social media for the Olympia. Um, so you know, the Olympia family is also my family, and uh, so it, it's it's definitely awesome to have their help and assistance. And then obviously, obviously to my wife. Um, hey, she's uh, she uh, she's right there by my side, and, and you know, she has uh, the passion just like I do. And we're looking forward to. Uh, to making this event an amazing event for the people of Mexico. And many more to come. Yep, and many more to come. Oh, that's great. Well, uh, there, there are rumors now that the uh, winners, the absolute overalls, are going to get a shoot with MD Latino. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And you, you, got, you hit that right on the, uh, uh, the head on the nail right there, Kit. Yep, we're, we're, um, not only are the overall champions going to get their pro car um, and, and become pros in the IPU Pro League, but... Um, from the kindness of MD Latino and uh, Kid Sam featured um, in the um, in his magazine 
And uh, so we're excited to be able to uh, work with MD Latino um, and, and really help these athletes promote their brand um, and, and, and really, uh, um, you know, really uh, be able to touch other people and inspire other people. Absolutely, um, to, inspiring to other people, journey. yeah. Um, and obviously this thing is going to be televised or live streamed, correct? Yeah, you know what? The, the, the event is going to be uh, uh, live streamed. And uh, again, um, it's going to be live streamed by MD Latino. And so they will be able to uh, be able to catch the event um, um, on the webcast. Um, and uh, so we'll be able to reach so many more people um, and really expand the sport of bodybuilding um, in Mexico uh, and, and, and all around the world um, on their on their on the MD Latino channel. Well, People know in Mexico, anytime there's a live stream of one big bodybuilding event, there's going to be millions of people tuning in. So it's going to be very exciting. I congratulate the both of you for um, taking on this advantageous project, but uh, it will be a successful one. That is for sure. And then uh, remind us your website once more, please. So um, for any information, please go to MexicoSuperShow.com. Okay. Mexico, that's easy. MexicoSuperShow.com. Mexico there you go. Yeah, we wanted to make it simple. You know, you, you simply just put in the title of the show, and you're going to be able to get all the info right there. Yes. I imagine and that's what? the same social media, Instagram and Facebook, correct? Yes. Okay. Well, yes. Well, this is Kit Sanderson with Kaden and Brittany Riley, promoters of the Mexico Super Show. Please visit the website, get involved, share the links. This is all about Mexican and Latin bodybuilding going global. This is Kit Sanderson, and we have a little saying at the end. We say never surrender in Spanish. So you guys ready for the Spanish? Yes. Yes. Okay. Nunca. Nunca. Te des. Te des. Por. Por. Vencido. Vencido. Eso. Chao. Gracias.